Hey everyone, so I realize the models I've taught lately are fairly complex and a little hard to follow. So today we're going to go back to basics and we're going to make a very traditional-esque model. This is an origami sandpiper that I just designed and it has a really traditional folding style which is kind of nice. So without further ado, here's how to fold it. Alright, so for the sandpiper that I made, I used about a 6 inch square, which we'll be using today. Alright, so let's keep it colored side up, and let's um, value fold it in half diagonally, so this point to this point. Alright, unfold, rotate, and repeat. Okay, now let's rotate this way and take this edge and fold it to this crease, just the top edge. Alright, unfold and do the same on this edge. We're making a rabbit ear. Alright, very good. Let's um, fold all fold all of those creases together. Well, the ones that we just made. And let's mount and fold in the middle. And we want to keep it upright because we don't want any extra creases on the side. So now, holding it like this, we're gonna mount and fold in half. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna reverse fold this point down to this point. It's a little fiddly, but it, I think when you know what you're doing, you'll get it right. So, mount and fold this, just pinch it like that, and then bring this point so that it touches these points. Like that. Alright, now let's rotate this way. Um, take this edge and fold it to this edge. Alright, now unfold and let's reverse fold it. Okay, now turn over and let's do the same thing. Alright, and now we have kind of a mix of a bird base and a fish base. And this is the base for our model. Okay, so now let's um, hold it like this. You can see there's some other creases, that's because I messed up. Um, so let's open it in the center and let's flatten it like this. Try not to make any creases here, like I accidentally did. Um, so now let's turn over, and let's valley fold these down like that. And let's fold this flap out to about here. So it looks like that, that's gonna be the leg. And then repeat that over here, like that. Okay, now let's unfold this, and then open this pocket and then let's reverse hold it like that. And then let's do the same on this one too. All right. And then now we have that. So let's valley fold this in, and then this is what it looks like. So let's work a little more on the legs. So let's valley fold this point up. So much valley folding. And then it's kind of a squash. So when this goes up, it won't lie flat. So let's take this edge and fold it to this edge, so it will. Alright, and now let's tuck this point in here, so it's nice and flush. And, um, do the same with this, the underside, so mount and fold it behind this time. And then just valley fold it, that's the same. Alright, so that's one leg, and do the same process on this leg. Sorry about the noise in the background you heard earlier. Anyways, that's what the legs look like now. Alright, now we're gonna crimp them, so let's mount and fold it in. Uh, yeah. And then just fold it in like that, so that's what it looks like. I forgot the name of it. I think it's crimp. I'm pretty sure. Um, now just do the same on this leg too. All 
alright, and make sure they're even. And the final step is really to just reverse hold the head, and that's it. You can do something a little more fancy if you want, but I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay, so that's our sandpiper. I hope you enjoyed folding that, and in the meantime, have fun folding.